Good evening. I want you to know that the food decisions you make every single day directly affect land and nature and us because we're part of nature. So tonight I'm asking you to support organic farms for climate change, for food security, for ecology and health. Now for those of you who are still climate change deniers, <laughs> we now have positive proof of global warming. So, Agriculture is one of the largest contributors of greenhouse gases. So right along there with climate change being a serious issue, agriculture is a big part of that problem. So I want you to know the good news, which is organic farms use less energy, significantly less, and they release less greenhouse gases because they use the renewable energy of the sun to create fertility and pest control instead of synthetic fertilizers and chemicals. Because of this, um, organic systems use soil building crops like the sorghum Sudan grass. They store 15 to 28 percent more carbon in the soil, and that significantly contributes to the reversal of climate change. Now, whether soil is an inch thick or deep as I am tall, we are utterly dependent upon it and the microbial life that lives in that soil because it plays a crucial role in nutrient and pest management. It also increases the water storage capacity of soil. For every 1% of soil carbon, the soil can hold 16,500 gallons of water. That makes organic farms much more resilient during times of drought, and it directly supports food security. This climate change is bringing heavier and harder rain, as we've all been witnessing these last few weeks. No one can argue about that. And organic soil is more capable of absorbing this rain because of the organic matter, and it reduces the amount of runoff that goes into our streams. Compared to conventional farms with synthetic fertilizer, the nitrogen there is water soluble, and it increases the amount of nitrogen that ends up there in the Gulf of Mexico, creating that marine life dead zone. And it's not just nitrates in the water. An estimated 1.1 million pounds of synthetic chemicals are sprayed in the U.S. every single year. Many of these pesticides are significantly toxic to humans and animals. And they don't just stay where they're sprayed. They're vaporized into the atmosphere. They're redeposited by rain. They are absorbed by the crops. That's the food that we eat. They run off into lakes and they leach into our waterways. According to the President's Cancer Report, only a few hundred of the more than 80,000 chemicals used in the United States have been tested for safety. Our children are not a science experiment. Research documents elevated levels of disease among people who are exposed to pesticides. In western Minnesota, research found birth defects were significantly higher in children of farm workers. 10 to 20,000 cases of poisoned farm workers annually. That's a high price to pay for cheap food. Pesticides are designed to kill. If they are so toxic that the applicator must wear a mask and, and body suit, do we want to eat them? Is it right to spray wildlife? Organic farms use biological diversity for pest management. Plants such as this grassy beetle bank provide habitat and food for beneficial species right alongside the cash crops. We do have bigger brains than insects. We should be able to outsmart them. This wasp is an example of biological pest control. The wasp lays its eggs inside of pest worms, and when the worms hatch, when the eggs hatch, the worms die. Elegant and non-toxic organic systems. Big Egg is telling us that genetically modified book, food is safe, yet they prohibit independent research on GMOs without their permission, and they don't want to label food with GMO products. They claim that GMO crops reduce the use of agricultural chemicals, but the truth is that GMOs have led to a huge increase in herbicide use, which is linked to many diseases, autism, depression, cancer, Alzheimer's. I think perhaps they want us to forget. 80% of all processed foods in the United States now contain GMO products, and they aren't labeled. Organic farms don't use GMO seeds one more reason to support organic. This monoculture farming system dependent on GMOs and agricultural chemicals, it's the leading cause of habitat degradation and species extinction. 
Biological diversity is not an abstract concept. It's life itself. So support organic farms. It's better for you and nature. Organic farming works. The, organ the chemical farming system is working for big egg. They're not going to change it, but it's not working for us. It's up to us to make the difference. For more information, visit organicfarmingworks.com. Thanks.